Welcome to today's on the pole conditioning workout geared specifically towards beginners. This workout today focuses mainly on upper body and core conditioning. Let's get into the workout. To begin, you're just gonna need a long resistance band and we're gonna tie this around the pole. We're gonna begin with some single arm pull downs first. For this exercise, we're gonna start seated with our back as flat to the pole as possible. So you shouldn't be able to fit your fingers between your lower back and the pole at any point throughout the exercise. From there, seated against the pole, we're gonna grab a hold of the resistance band so my arm is nice and straight and my shoulder is shrugged up towards my ear. I can make this harder by grabbing both sides of the band or easier by just grabbing a single side of my resistance band. From here, the first movement you're gonna do is make sure that you pull your shoulder down away from your ear. And then from there, we're gonna pull the elbow all the way into the side of my torso and then release back to my start position. So shoulders shrugged up towards my ear. From there again, I'm gonna pull my shoulder down away from my ear, elbow in and release all the way back up above head, making sure that I don't arch through my lower back. And to prevent any arching, I'm gonna think about tucking my tummy in to engage through my core and also maintain our sexy triple chin position through the neck. Now I'm making sure that I'm landing my elbow so that it's pulling forward underneath my wrist. So if I give you a side on view, I'm trying not to land like that. See that rolled forward shoulder position? I want elbow pulling forward and wrist pulling back so that they are in line with your shoulder. And we're gonna take a big exhale as I pull my shoulder down, elbow in and inhale to return back to the start position. We're gonna just do four more on this arm and then we're gonna swap sides. Notice that I'm still keeping my shoulder, sorry, my back as flat to the pole as I can. All right, let's change arms. This time I'm gonna give you a back of you. So keeping my spine as flat to the pole as possible, I'm gonna think about pulling my shoulder down away from my ear. That's a really important part. So shoulder down, elbow in and release. Big exhale as we pull down, making sure that my lower back is pressing into the pole. And I'm just holding that there by keeping my core engaged. So tucking my tummy in. This one you should start to fill down your lats, so your big armpit muscle, and also hopefully through those lower traps if you're getting that shoulder position correct. So remember, we don't want that shoulder rolled forward, we want that shoulder rolled down and back. Just a few more. Let's go for final three. Big exhale as we pull down. And final one. All right, from there, we're gonna come around into a plank and just warm up our core muscles. So you're gonna line yourself up so that your shoulders are directly underneath your, uh, sorry, are directly on top of your elbows. And then we're gonna straighten those legs out and try and create one straight line from our head all the way down to our feet. And I'm gonna start the minute timer from now, keeping your head back in line with your spine the entire time as well. Try not to let it bop down, so our sexy triple chin position. Now it's really important we don't sit here with an arch through that lower back. Instead, we need to think about tucking our tailbone around. So trying to really tilt that pelvis by engaging through your tummy, so tucking that belly button in. Now if you are struggling to not arch through your lower back or you're getting a little bit of lower back pain, we can simply make this easier by placing our knees on the floor and performing the same movement. Again, making sure we don't arch through the back, but tuck that tailbone around. Now, don't just sit there in a plank, you really want to engage some things. So every time you exhale, think about tucking your tummy in and squeezing your quads as straight as we can. 10 more seconds. And really focusing on tucking tummy in, squeezing those quads. And we did a whole minute, well done. Let's repeat. Those two exercises again, 
and then we'll move on. Starting again with our single arm pull downs, I'm gonna grab up nice and high on my resistance band so that my shoulder is shrugged up towards my ear. From there, I'm gonna proceed to exhale, pull my shoulder down, elbow into the side of my body, and then release all the way back up above head. And remember, we do not wanna arch through that lower back. So every time you exhale, really try and tuck your tummy in and press your spine as flat to that pole as you can. And then just making sure that our shoulder isn't rolled forward or raised up towards your ear. Shoulder down, and then think about pulling your elbow forward so that wrist and elbow are nice and aligned. I'm gonna pull my shoulder down, elbow in, and release. Using my breath to help me as much as I can. So you wanna exhale as you pull down, inhale as we return all the way back up. We're gonna go for four more. And just make sure you're not like crunching to the side either. Really try and keep both shoulders the same height throughout the entire exercise. And then our last one, taking that nice big exhale as we pull down. And then we're gonna swap sides. So big exhale, pull your shoulder down, elbow in and release. Just focusing on warming up those pole shoulders. And again, really keeping that elbow pulling forward underneath your wrist and that wrist pulling back. So you almost feel like you're squeezing the very base of your shoulder blades together at the bottom of the movement. And again, big exhale as we pull down. Making sure that we're not arching through that lower back. And we're gonna go for four more. And just that final one, maintaining that core engagement, shoulder down, elbow forward. And those ones are all done. Let's go for our final plank. So rolling around, so shoulders are positioned on top of your elbows, straightening through those legs. I'm gonna make sure that I don't arch my lower back. We wanna tuck that tailbone in. Holding here for a minute, I'm gonna think sexy triple chin position with my head and tuck that chin back in line with my spine. I'm also gonna make sure I'm not um, dropping through my shoulders. So do you wanna think about pushing the floor away and spreading those shoulder blades apart. Then just making sure that your knees aren't floppy. If you're up on your toes, I want those knees as straight as possible. And then just making sure we're not arched through the lower back because it's not healthy for our back. So if you are struggling to get that tailbone tucked around, then simply perform the movement from your knees. But if you can, joining me up on your toes, keeping that tailbone tucked under, Big breath in and then big breath out. Draw that tummy muscle in and making sure we're squeezing those knees as straight as possible. In those last 10 seconds, remembering to breathe and just make sure your butt doesn't raise up or drop too low. Level with those shoulders. But that's our minute. Let's come out of that one. For this exercise, we're gonna do some assisted pole chin-ups. For these ones, I'm gonna place my hands just in front of my face, and I'm gonna start with my left hand on top. And for the next interval, we're gonna change and place the right hand on top. So for this exercise, I'm gonna keep my toes on the floor the entire time. I'm not just gonna calf raise. I'm gonna try and take as much body weight through my arms as I can and only use my feet for just a small bit of assistance. So hands placed on the pole. We're gonna try and proceed to pull the shoulders down, lift, and then lower back down. Now notice how I really pull the shoulders down away from my ears. Then I think about pulling the pole out of the sky, keeping my shoulders down. Then not up towards my ears, keep pulling down and then lowering back down. Now also just watch that you don't round over the pole like this. That's just gonna overuse small muscles on the front of my body, such as my biceps and pecs, rather than my back muscles that we're trying to target here. So I'm gonna pull my shoulders down, really squeeze them backwards, like I'm trying to squeeze a lemon between my shoulder blades, and then lower back down. Just keeping in mind that my toes have not left the floor. And I'm really thinking about trying to pull the pole out of the sky and feel this one through all my big back muscles. So shoulders pulled down, I'm squeezing them together and then lowering back down. Five more seconds on this arm and then we're gonna change. And I'm keeping it nice and slow and controlled so I can really try and feel my lat muscles start to activate as I pull up and lower back down. 
All right, let's change. Other hand on top so that we stay nice and even on both sides. I'm gonna think about pulling my shoulders down to lift and then a lower back down. Now, if you're doing this right, you'll probably feel your core activate as much as your lat muscles as well. So again, shoulders pulled down, lift and lower back down. Now it can really help with the shoulder positioning to look up slightly, making sure that we're squeezing those shoulder blades together. The very tips of your shoulder blades, so about here. So if I give you a back view, I think about pulling the shoulders down, squeeze. They don't look like this or like this. I'm squeezing the very base, the very tips on the base of my shoulder blades and lowering back down. Big exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower back down, taking as much body weight through your hands as you can. And just enjoying the little burn coming in through those back muscles. Big exhale on the way up, inhale as we lower back down. Nearly there. And just making sure we're also focusing on engaging through the core. So don't stand here with an arch through your back. Keep that pelvis tucking under. Big exhale up, inhale as we lower down. And we smash the whole minute. For our second exercise, you're gonna join me down on the floor. You're gonna bring your feet up to 90 degrees and it's very important that you don't perform this exercise with an arch through your lower back. Instead, I want that tailbone tucking and you're gonna really press that lower back down into the floor so that I can't fit my fingers between your lower back and the floor. From here, I'm gonna give you three options. The easiest option is to extend through um, each leg and we're gonna alternate each side, coming up into a crunch. Your midway version is to keep your knees bent and we're gonna lower from the hips. Exhale, lift with a crunch in between and your hardest variation is gonna to be to extend both legs out straight and then come up into a crunch from there. Whichever variation, we just wanna make sure that we feel it through the core and no lower back pain or hip popping is allowed. But let's start our minute. And I'm gonna start with the hardest variation. So I'm gonna inhale as I extend my legs, exhale to return them back in and then exhale to come back up into the crunch. So I'm gonna inhale, Exhale to bring it back in. Exhale to lift up into my crunch. Now remember if you're struggling not to arch through your lower back, so I wanna see that, then just step it down to the lower level. So you've also got the midway version, the bent knees, exhaling as we lift, or well, the easiest variation is single-sided. Really just focusing on trying to pull the ribs and the hip bones in towards each other. But we are already past halfway through this minute round. So just, just a few more. Big breath in as we kick the legs out. Exhale to pull them back in. And exhale to come up into the crunch. Just making sure we're really focusing on trying to tuck that tummy in and keep that spine as flat to the floor as we can. All right, that's a minute. Let's begin round number two. Starting first with the left hand on top. I'm gonna to think about pulling my shoulders down away from my ears. Exhale to lift keeping that tummy tucking in and inhale to lower back down. Trying to really pull with the arms, not calf raise with your toes. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower down. Really feeling those back muscles work as we pull up, squeezing through your lats, your armpit muscles, and keeping that core engaged. I'm constantly thinking about pulling my rib and hip bone together. Even as I lower down, I'm still trying to keep that tummy engaged. Big exhale down, inhale to lower. Now also just think about your head. So try not to let your head bop forward. Think triple chin, sexy triple chin position. Tuck your head back in line with the spine and then inhale as we lower back down. Get about 10 more seconds before we swap hands. Keep pulling the pole out of the sky. All right, let's swap. Other hand on top. We're gonna to exhale, lift, inhale, lower down. Making sure that I'm thinking ribs up the entire time. I'm not arched through my back, core is on, ribs are lifted. Keeping those shoulders pulling down. Remember, no rolling forward allowed. If you're not feeling this through your back muscles, your shoulders are probably up too high or rounded forward over the pole. And exhale, lift, inhale to lower. Really pulling with those arms. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can pop your hands a little bit higher up the pole and see if you can lift all the way up there. I just passed halfway. 
Keep pulling as hard as you can. So think, pull the pole out of the sky and then lower down. Keep making sure those shoulders are staying down for me. We're in our last five seconds. Remember, don't calf raise, pull with the arms and lower down. Well done. Second round of abs. So coming back down onto your back, we're gonna start with those feet up at 90 degrees, making sure that we keep that back as flat to the floor as possible. We inhale as we extend the legs, whichever variation we're going for. Exhale to return into the center, and then exhale to come up into the crunch, keeping it nice and slow. Now remember, this is your hardest variation. The easiest, your, sorry, your midway variation is to keep the knees bent lower from the hips. So you don't wanna just drop your feet, you wanna lower from the hips. And then exhale as we come all the way back up. Your easiest variation was to extend single-sided and then come up into the crunch. And if you're still getting any back pain or struggling not to arch, then you can make it even easier by placing one foot down on the floor. Whichever variation, just make sure we're definitely focusing on keeping it slow and steady and just getting that core engagement correct. But we're in those last 10 seconds. Well done, that's a minute. For our last set of exercises today, we're gonna to begin first with a inverted row. So I'm gonna come up so that my head is in line all the way down towards my knees. And I'm gonna have my outside hand on top, yeah? So my right waist is on the pole, my left hand is on top. From here, we're gonna pull the shoulders down, pull up towards my hands, and then lower back down. Now I'm not bicep curling towards the pole like so. I'm gonna pull my shoulders down, pull up, thinking more like belly button coming up towards my hands, and then lowering back down. Now. Just, you wanna try as you pull up, not to like round forward at your shoulders. We wanna try and think shoulders roll down and back. So firstly, I squeeze backwards together. Then I think boobies lifting up to the roof and then lowering back down. Just breaking up the movement can really make a difference. Now just watch that your butt is not sunk down like so and that you're not arched through your lower back. Instead, we're gonna engage through our core, squeeze our glutes and tuck that tailbone around. So my hips are pushing up and my tummy is engaged. Pulling up and lowering back down. Really trying to squeeze a lemon between my shoulder blades. And big exhale as we pull up inhale as we lower back down and I'm trying not to just drop my head back like this either sexy triple chin position all right let's swap arms so this time I'm going to place my left waist on the pole and my right hand on top so my head is in line with my knees I'm not arched and I'm not sunk through my butt I'm going to pull my shoulders backwards pull up and then lower back down Really trying to squeeze a lemon between my shoulder blades. Pulling through those back muscles, those arm muscles. And big exhale on the up, inhale as we lower back down. All right, how are we doing? We're getting there. Now remember sexy triple chin position. Doing well. All right, that's your minute. <laughs> Let's bring it down onto the floor for a core exercise. For our last exercise today, we're gonna to do some reverse crunches. So coming down onto your back, we're gonna begin with our feet at 90 degrees so that your knees are directly on top of your hips. Palms facing up to the roof, shoulders down away from your ears. We're gonna take a nice big exhale, lift up and inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower back down. Really try not to use momentum and flick your legs straight like so. I don't want to see any of this. Keep your knees really still, yeah? Don't let this bit straighten. Keep them bent at 90. Big exhale, 
lift, inhale, control that lower back down. And we should really start to feel it work through those core muscles. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower back down. Doing well. Again, control is key with these ones. And we wanna to try to use our hands as little as possible. Hence why I've gotten you to turn your palms up towards the roof. Nearly there, we got 10 seconds. And last one, well done. Let's begin our final round. So again, I'm gonna have my left hand on top first and my right waist on the pole. So lining my right waist up, my outside hand on top, keeping my tailbone tucked under, I'm gonna to proceed to squeeze my shoulder blades backwards, pull up, making sure that I'm not curling into the pole. I'm really thinking open through my shoulders and lower back down. So squeeze back, lift and lower back down. Big exhale as I pull up, inhale as I lower back down. Really just focusing on strengthening through those back muscles. It's totally normal if you're feeling your forearms tire out as well. You've always got to get just that little bit stronger. But don't worry, if you've got those shoulders in the right position, those back muscles are going to be working. And just remember, core, tummy, so core engaged, tummy tucking in, glutes engaged. 10 seconds. All right, let's do the other side. So this time I'm gonna have my, I'll go this side of the pole this time. Uh, left waist on the pole and right hand on top. Making sure we don't bicep curl, we pull with those back muscles. All right, so exhale, pull, inhale, lower back down. Keeping those shoulders opening. Remember, you really wanna break it up. So squeeze the shoulder blades, pull up. This is our last round of these ones. So try and stick with me till the end. Doing well. Like 30 seconds to go. Last five seconds. And you smashed it, well done. All right, let's do our final round of reverse crunches. So joining me on your back, we're gonna bring those knees up so that they are directly positioned on top of your hips. We're not gonna use momentum, we're gonna try and control as we exhale, lift, inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower back down. Just trying to maintain the control. So we don't want to use momentum to flick straight and we don't want to slam the ass back down. We want to try and lower the, jump, the, the butt gently back down to the floor. Trying to keep those shoulders down away from those ears. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower all the way back down. Nearly there. Doing well. Wait about 10 more seconds. And one. Well done. Thanks for joining me for today's on the pole conditioning workout. If you did enjoy today's workout, please Give this video the thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know how you went with the exercises. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you more valuable content just like this video.